100 man so tell us a little bit about your journey because a lot of my audience don't know um how you were raised and what it was like growing up was you always like around money and did you grow up rich and you had a silver spoon in your mouth I and wish. things were easy <laughs> i wish no definitely not so grew up in like listen green area so around edra road wasn't the best of areas but always had martial arts that kind of i think that i always say martial arts was my anchor because yeah. i was never around the best of people but i never got into what they were getting into yeah. simply because i was like ah man i i feel like having a separate peer group yeah. being the martial arts guys kept me like not wanting to go and run off with the other peer group that i'm forming as i was growing because as they're doing certain things, I'm like, boy, these guys are going to kick my ass, man. Yeah. And they can legally do it. So yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Every time it got to the point where I'm about to go do something with them, I was like, ah, you, man, I'm going back home. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're. Blame the martial arts. Also blame my mum. My mum, she, she's not one to play with. She used to do martial arts herself. Okay. So if you come to, you know, go to mum's house, it's all, all the trophies in there. It's not all mine. Wow. <laughs> should I say? Because she used to compete and stuff as well. So surrounded by martial arts, I got siblings, that all did martial arts, all of us are just, that is our our heart, that's our love. Right. Not all of us have continued to do it, but we all stay in shape and so on and so forth. And we all have that kind of a discipline that we took from it and yes. the attributes that we took from, you know, being in and around martial arts. So that's that's kind of that's kind of it it's amazing you say that because in, in my family we grew up in in the corner shop mm -hmm. and so i'm a business-minded boy you know I, I know a little bit about property and how to my, my way around a pound note mm. and it was just like something we always did we want to see dad we have to go to the shop mm. you know spend some time um dad's doing door-to-door -door selling i'm with mum protecting her at the shop because mm. someone might come and rob something mm. And when we sat on the dinner, it was like, how was business? And it felt like that was your sort of thing in common. But some people yeah. some people think, oh, that's boring. You're talking about uh, business. Or, or maybe people might look at you and go, is that what you spoke about? Just fighting or martial arts? Like, can you talk about something outside of the gym, for example? Mm -hmm. But in the inside, did it feel different for you? Yeah, it's just, you know what it is? It's just common ground. Like, when you're... As much as we, we might not necessarily be talking it in the, the conventional sense of uh, how was your lesson today, yeah. it just everything ar about what we was doing was martial arts. So we, you know, we'd be with, I'd be with my dad. All the siblings are there. We're all playing, play fighting. Obviously, not really <laughs> fighting. Go to training. We're getting our stuff ready to go to training. Go train. Come back. You know, we're all pumped because of training. But then we was massively at the time. You know, we were watching like um, La uh, all the Kung Fu movies back then. Yes. So you had your Bruce Lee's, you had your, your, your Jackie Chan's, your mm. Jet Li's, your Samo Hong, you have your Donnie Yen, all yeah. of these guys that were growing up on just watching DVDs of them doing more martial arts. So not, I'm not necessarily talking about martial arts now, but I'm watching people do backflip kicks and this and that. Come on. Do you see what I'm saying? And then, you know, you're going to bed, getting ready to go training again for the next day after you've gone to school or whatever, whatever. So it was just surrounded by, and there was just, a, because... As you say, you know, I think the, the head of the household being your dad is that's his heart. It just naturally spreads to everybody else. Yes. And that seems to be, you know, that because that's his first love, not in order to gain his attention, but that is where you, his, you know, his attention spikes. Yeah. So if you're talking that language, you, he's, he's engaged. Yes. And so, you know, you, as a kid, you learn how to engage people just from what's your surroundings and how, to, how you've been raised. And martial arts was, was that. Yeah.